Hi, in this video, we're going to look at using Power Query to uh, import and merge um, files that have been put into a folder. Uh, these files are basically contain sales data for each branch in our company. We want to merge them together, put them in a pivot table so we can combine all the sales across the different branches. Now, the way this is going to work is that uh, we are gradually going to get this data. So at the moment we've got Aberdeen, Belfast and Birmingham, but there are sort of 30 other branches that we're eventually going to get the data for. We want to plonk them into this folder and Excel will automatically include them in uh, the analysis that we've set up and the pivot table that we've set up. So it's going to be a completely automated process once, once we've actually gone through uh, these steps. So anyway, let's fire up Excel and um, I've, I'm in uh, Excel 2013 here and I've already uh, added in Power Query. It is an add-in in, in Excel 2013. Uh, this video is not going to show you how to actually add Power Query in. Um, if you've got Excel 2016, it's already going to be available to you. It's part of the standard ribbon set up uh, in that version of Excel. So we go to Power Query and you're going to go to from file from folder now my folders on the desktop so I select that sales and I click on OK that opens up the query editor and you can see this brought in quite a lot of data here I certainly don't need all of these columns in fact, I only need the first uh, three for now. So I'm going to select those and then on the Home tab, I'm going to remove other columns. Now, also in that folder was a text file um, and we wouldn't want to include that text file in any of our calculations or our import or export. So I'm going to filter that out. So we're just left with the CSV files. And then in fact, I don't need that column. So I can remove it. And then I'm just left with content and name. Now, if I click on these, this little button here, it will combine the data in all three of those files into one table. And you can see it's done that. There's a number of problems with it. Uh, column headings would need to go up there. If I scroll down, um, you'll see that there are no, there's no indication for each row uh, which branch this data is coming from. Um, I will somewhere in here. I'll we'll have totals for a branch, um, and I've also there we are. I've got a grand total which I'd need to take out, and also I've got another set of column headings here which I would need to remove. So there's a little bit of work that needs to be done in order to get this right for Excel. Now what you'll notice over here is that there is an Applied Steps box and I'm going to undo those last few steps where I combined all the binaries. So to do that I can just go back through, just delete these steps and it will get, get me back to where I uh, was before. This is almost like a macro recorder with all these steps in it. Now. I need there to be an indication for each um, record which branch that sales item came from. Now to do that I'm going to use the name of the files um, and actually export that to a separate field. First of all I need to do a little preparation, get rid of .csv. Now that's fairly easy to achieve. If I right click on that column heading um, I'm going to go to, um, there should be an option called replace values, there we are. And I'm just going to say wherever it says .csv, replace it with nothing. And that just gets rid of .csv there. I'm then going to add an additional custom column. And in that additional custom column, I want to extract the name of each of these documents. And you have to write a little formula for that. So the formula for this is .csv, it is case sensitive, .document, 
open bracket and then in square brackets content close square bracket close normal brackets okay so i click on ok and that gives me an extra column here table 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 now that also gives me a little button up here with sort of a double arrow if i click on that and then click on ok i then get a much much better set of data that includes the name of the um, the branch okay now i can get rid of this column don't actually need that so i can remove and what i need to do is promote this first row as column headings now to do that i go to home use first row as headers and I'm going to need to rename that column. So that would be branch. OK. Next problem I've got is the fact that there are obviously multiple tables in here. So there's going to be uh, grand totals for each table and there's going to be column headings for each table. Now, a little trick is if I, um, if I specify a data type for this column, say decimal or currency or something, um, when it gets down to, let's find it, uh, where there's a change in branch. When it gets down to uh, revenue, which is a column heading, it will return an error. I could then get rid of any records that return an error in that field. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to right click on this column. I'm going to go to change type. Let's change it to decimal number. So. If I scroll down now to that same position, let's see where I am. Somewhere here. There we are. I've got an error, so I can get rid of those errors. So on the Home tab, remove errors. I've got this column selected, remove errors. The next thing I've got to think about are those grand total rows. I need to get rid of those. And the way to do that would be to filter them out. So wherever grand total appears here, get down to my G's. I can untick that and that get rid of any rows that include grand total. Let's just check that it did do that. Not convinced. No, it didn't. Click on OK. Right. Kind of ready now to export to Excel. You can see I've got all these steps that have been recorded and they will be repeated every time I run this query. So how do I export this to Excel? On my home tab, I go to close and load. Exports it to Excel. There we are, 455 rows loaded. And create my little pivot table. Very simple data, this I know, but it was just to illustrate the point. So what I would do, let's say I've got products in rows, revenue and branch. And then maybe I'll have a slicer for um, branch. There we are. So at the moment I'm seeing a combination of all branches, but I could go through and just select particular branches or show all of them. So it's done the job. But the real power with Power Query is the fact that this whole process is now automated. So um, I'm going to put these two new files into this folder. And I'll take that little shortcut out. Apologies for that. And open up Excel again. And what I'm going to do is just refresh my query. So it's going to run through those steps again and import that data. 762 rows loaded. And then separately I have to refresh my pivot table. And you can see it's brought through those two extra branches. So you can imagine how much time you're going to save with this. As you get your new data in, just plonk it into that folder, uh, press refresh twice, and you're, you're good to go. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. It's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.